Hello everybody, my name is Palm and welcome to, welcome back to my channel. So today is a special treat, I thought I'd do something a little bit different, so in honor of uh, Bleach coming back this October, I thought it'd be a really good idea to rank uh, Bleach characters. Um, I'm in the process of watching Bleach, so I'm not done yet. I still have like a, I still have a hundred episodes left. So a lot of these characters, I'm not gonna know who they are. So I found a tier maker of Bleach characters, and I like, I adjusted the uh, labels a little bit, added my own labels. Um, there are a lot of characters in this uh, tier maker, so in order for this video not to be like an hour long, we're gonna go through these pretty quickly. But, um, I'm really excited. This should be fun. These are just for fun, giggles, laughs. Okay, don't take this too seriously, please. But people are like super, they hold their favorite show close to their hearts. And if you insult their characters, they take it as a personal attack on themselves. It's really weird. You know, it's, it's, it's okay, okay? It's gonna be okay. A lot of characters in the show that I, not a lot, but there are a few that I, prob, that I think are a fan favorite that I really don't like or I find super annoying, so please don't get offended. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, okay, let me show you the tiers that I made. So the first tier is Hua Megalo um, because there are a lot of characters that I don't know. So this tier is for all the characters that I don't know. So the Who. A megalo, as in like, who are you? A megalo. Next category is sleeper. Those are for all the people who characters are just like, I think are just boring. I don't really care about. They're just like sleeper content. So I'm just like whatever. And then the next category is filler, but not bad. So this is I I came up with this one because there are a lot of fillers in Bleach, but some fillers I think are not as bad as people think they are. Think that they are. So. So there's probably characters who are like, you know, you're like not really all that important, you know, you're just in there for content or whatever, but like you're not that bad. The next tier is we have main story time, yes, for the characters who are the best, you know, they're, they're the good characters, they're like, you know, we like you, we love you, you're great. Um, it's again inspired by, you know, when you finally get to the main story arc with Aizen, you're just like, thank goodness. Why was the bound story like story arc in there in the first place? Why did we put a filler arc in the middle of the Aizen battle? That doesn't make any sense. So why are we still doing that? Okay, like what's happening? That is for that category. Like, yes, finally they're here. And the next category is just S tier. It's the S tier category for the absolute S tier categories. And then we have the next one. It's d -d 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 Y. You, I'm sure you can spell. So you know what that means. I ain't saying that. You ain't getting a sound bite of me saying that word. Um, I know the internet. So that's that category. And that category is reserved for like, okay, that category is reserved for uh, three characters. I already know who's going in the category. It's special reserve category. So let's get started. The first cat first character is Mel. I love Mel. This is adult Mel. There's adult Mel and there's also um, younger Mel, the baby Mel who's in here. I absolutely love Mel. I love her character. I think she's great. Uh, I think she's like, she's such a fun character. Um, she's she's i think she's like more of like the normal espada and you know of them all i think she's great honestly i think she's like super cute she's fun even in even in her adult form when she's like she can be serious and also silly at the same time I, the relationship with ichigo is super cute i love it so she is going in s tier she's going straight up in s tier love her character the next one is the old man uh the captain um um, with him, he, uh, I think he, he's kind of growing on me as later. Throughout the, at first I didn't really like, a, like him that much because I felt like he, um, I don't know, I wasn't really, I wasn't really a lot smart to be honest with you, but, um, in the later seasons, I like, in later episodes, I realized that like he, 
Um, actually puts a lot of trust in Ichigo to do a lot of the things, and he's pretty like meticulous and thinks things through, and he does rely on Ichigo a lot, like to do the things that he can't, especially with the um the arc, what's that arc? The uh, the princess arc, whatever that one was, the um the arc with like the Oh, the new captain, the new captain arc. That's the one. That's what I think it's what's officially called the new captain arc, um, where we have the new captain and everything that went on with that one. Um, you can tell that, like, in that arc, he really couldn't interfere with like the royal family, the royal family, but like of the, the family of high status, whatever. Um, and he completely put his trust in Ichigo, like he to resolve that issue. So I really like him. Um, I don't think he's like S tier. Um, filler but not bad, the main story time, yeah. I usually feel not bad. Filler but not bad, okay. Um, this girl, um, I know she's in a spa. I don't, I honestly, where I'm at right now, I haven't even seen much of her. So, I'm not gonna put her in Hua Magalol. Um, I don't think she's sleeper. I think her fight with, um, whatever that guy is, I don't know, he's somewhere. The guy looks like a little kid, but he's not a little kid. The ice dude, I can't remember his name. His fight is, I think the fight's really, was pretty getting pretty interesting. But, um, we'll put her in main story time, yes, because it makes sense, right? She is part of the main story, but, uh, okay, next we have, this, that guy, I, I can't, I'm, I'm impressed you right now, I'm terrible with names. I'm absolutely awful. Okay, I'm terrible. I cannot remember anybody's name to save my life. In real life, too. And in any show that I watch, I just cannot remember names. Okay, I know who this guy is. Okay, I know who this guy is. He's Ichigo's, like, soul. Is the soul that lives inside, is the soul that lives inside Ichigo's sword. Um, he's great. He's S-tier. He's S-tier. He's great. I, I like him a lot. And then we have the bald guy. I can't remember his name. I like him a lot more now they're showing a lot of his sh showing his character more in um um in the later season. He's been more in the land in the land in the world of living more. And he seems like a really good guy. So I but I the prop the thing with this guy though and his friend is that like I wish they weren't so like they have a lot of weaknesses with the fact that they like they have they live by this code and motto where they can't show their true strength, their true power. Like especially with the Aizen battle that's going on right now where I'm at. I'm on like episode 237. Um but the the Aizen battle is happening so far. Like it seemed like he could have helped a lot more if he like but it seems like he was like too afraid of living by some code and motto that some code and, and motto that he wasn't able to do anything. Like, it seems like he has like there's a lot more to his power than he's letting on, but he just like refuses because of some dumb code. But I'll put him in main story time, yes. You know, main story time, yes. And then we have Um He's great, he's smart, he's so useful, even when he didn't have his Quincy powers. He was still very useful. Like he was super useful and super helpful. Uh, I think he's a very important character to the story. I really like him a lot. So ha, S tier. And then we have Renji. I absolutely love Renji. Adore him. He's so adorable, except for his stupid hairline. His hairline. Why? Why? I hate it so much. I just think about like literally like going into like Illustrator and just taking like. If you know how this shirt works, you like take like those two points. So you take like an anchor point, and I just think about moving it down, like taking the anchor point with my uh, uh, mouse and moving the anchor points down. So the hairline is not just like eh, 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 eh. I don't get that. But Renji's as tier. I absolutely adore Renji. Next, oh, I do know the Afro guy. He is like that. He's in charge of uh, Kur Kur Town, Kur Town, whatever it's called. Um, he's like, he's like, he's a funny character. He's just like, he's rarely ever seen that much though. Like he's, he's not, he, he's kind of like a one-off side character, but, um, he's a pretty funny character. I'd say Phil are not bad. I don't, he's, he's a funny character. I've seen him once in a while. Then we have Ichigo's father who, listen, I've been on the wiki, I've been on the Bleach wiki. I already spoiled myself. I already 
you know, I, I know who he is. I know who he really is. I don't want to spoil. I know the show is, like, super old, but, like, I hate spoiling stuff for people. Um, even no matter how old the show is, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to be a spoil. I don't, like, I don't want to spoil, even though I feel like I've probably spoiled somewhat, but, like, you know, I don't want to, like, spoil major plot lines, so, but, like, he's S tier. He's S tier. I haven't gone to the part where, like, he shows up, but, like, I already know. I spoiled it. Okay, this Kerosene, who am I go I don't know who that is. Who am I go I know the Sapatas, but, Sapatas, whatever. Espadas? Haven't met them yet. Who am I go Who am I go This person we have met, but who am I go Don't care. This girl, oh, she is, yes. She's, like, one of their, the mass people. I know, like, whatever the names are. I know what you're talking about. Honestly, um, I don't, like, I don't, there's not really much. I haven't really seen much of them. I skipped the arc where they show their backstories because I was so mad that they put it in the middle of the Eisen arc. So I skipped that arc. I'm going to go back to it because I do want to learn their backstories. But I was so mad because they were like, it was just starting to get good. Um, and they literally just skipped it and I was like nah uh, nah I ain't watching this so I'm gonna put her in um filler but not bad because I think her stories are interesting and then we have the um hollow soul that's also an Ichigo which I do know where the hollow comes from because I spoiled myself with um he's an interesting character as well too um I feel like it seems like there's like more to like his story as well too than him just wanting to gobble up Ichigo. So I'm gonna put up main story time, yes. Then we have this guy. I like this guy a lot. He's a really funny character, he's very witty. Um So I haven't seen much of him in the Eisen fight. I would love to see more of these characters in the Eisen fight um to come. I'm sure we probably will see them. Because uh, they the captains are getting their butts kicked right now. So we're gonna put on main story time, yes. This is one of the captains, um, the creepy ones. Um, haven't really seen much of him so far. Like we saw him um, in the earlier seasons. Um, but so far, other than that, we haven't like in the later seasons, we haven't really seen much of him doing anything. Uh, but he's like not, he's not bad. He's not that bad of a villain. I thought he, I thought he was like more of a good of a villain of like a good villain in like the earlier episodes but kind of fell off but i'll put him in um sleeper i feel not bad i feel not bad i feel not bad ah, i'll put him in sleeper he's gone a little bit sleeper oh uh, we have ichigo's sister who i really like um i like how she i kind of wish she would like more open into like seeing seeing hollows i know like she doesn't want to like she clearly is like avoiding it and she wants a part of it but as she slowly slowly starting to be to like see hollows i wish she'd like get more into it because i do really like a character a lot she's very tough and she's strong and um he's a very interesting character to watch so i'm gonna put her in main story time yes i do like a character this is like a what i would consider a filler character like i know she's part of she's part of or at least i don't know if this is she they are part of the research development team but as far as i know i don't really know much about that character i know she's in like a filler episode they were in a filler episode i'm not keep saying she they were in a filler episode but I I don't think they're sleeper. I just put filler not bad. Filler not bad. Then we have um oh my gosh I know his name. I know his name. Gran something Jack Granger Jack Ganger Jack something like that. I don't know. I like his character. He's I think it was really a fun fight for Ichigo. He's not dead though. I'm pretty sure he's not dead. Ichigo like saved, protected him, and saved him. Um, as far as I'm aware, and where I'm at right now. But I'm gonna put main story time. Yes, I think he's a really fun villain, and I like seeing his backstory. That was really interesting. Um, 
I know who this person is, sleeper, don't care. Um, this person is Hello Megalol. I do know who this person is, but like, oh, well, actually it was sleeper, because I do know who they are, but we haven't, these are as far as, but I haven't, we haven't seen anything about them. Like I said, I'm not there yet. Um, who am I lol? Who am I lol? This is the worm. I know this is the worm. Um, the worm did some work, so I'm not bad. Oh, this is Baby Mel. I love Baby Mel. Baby Mel is S tier. Baby Mel is S tier. Oh, this guy. This guy who was, who did some work to Ichigo. I was very surprised. Did some work. He got some fancy feet, you know, the one who like fell off a pillar. I do remember him. Um, I actually really like this guy. I thought he was like a fun a character. And it's really interesting to see that like a lot of these guys that were on who were like who had like a three digit numbers who got beaten, they actually ended up like um helping them at the end. You know? They don't seem like they don't seem that bad. I feel like because you have to remember that these people used to be human. Like these hollows were human. They're not like just monsters or beasts or something. They used to be human. So it seems like when they turn into when they break their mask off, right? They still it seems like they gain some of that humanity back a little bit. It's really interesting. Um, I do know this person, but uh sleeper, who cares? This girl I do know who this girl, she fought Ududu, whatever his name is, but I don't care, sleeper. Ooh, I yes, this guy, Mel's like subordinates. Um, he's a lot smarter than it would give him credit for, which is really cool to see. Um we'll put main story time, yes. This person, who am I lol, I do not know who that is. Chad. We love Chad. I hate that they've been throwing him in the he's basically can become a side character and they're throwing him on the sidelines. Like I was really happy when he was just like, he realized that like Ichigo was just like, like he didn't think that he was powerful enough to be with Ichigo. And which is true, like Ichigo literally didn't think that he was strong enough to be with him, which they weren't, they aren't. And I love that Chad like powered up and stuff. He's still not strong enough though, like watching, like he literally got his butt kicked in, um, in Wicamundo. So he's not really, he's not really there yet. I don't know if he will ever get there yet, but uh, it's still fun to see him. We'll do him at main story time. Yes. Sorry, not S tier. Pink haired guy, the doctor guy. Gosh, he's so annoying. But seeing him get his butt kicked by the, this dude, that was sweet, dude. That was brutal. That was so brutal. Oh my gosh, it was brutal. Like, what? Like, ah, uh, it was also so, like, kind of sad too, because he was just like, please just kill me. I don't know how, like, he, like, it felt like, like, centuries just passed by when in reality is just seconds. Like, oh, uh, this guy, this guy, dude, he's twisted, but, like, genius. He's gonna go in main story time, yes. Main story time, yes. That fight was, was really good. This is the subordinate of the uh, one of the Espadas. Well, I don't know if I have. Espada, I don't care. Uh, who am I below? Don't care. Oh, she is. She's the subordinate of the. Where is he? Um. Uh, this guy, number one, number one Espada. She was like kind of fun. I again, I haven't seen too much of her, but she seemed like really like fun. I know she's fighting the long-haired guy, but she seemed kind of she think she seemed kind of fun, honestly. I haven't really seen much of their fight, but she's still like she's still um she doesn't really know how to fight though. Like that's basically like what I got from it. Like she's still she lacks the experience, but I thought she was like fun. Would you feel not bad? Um, these got who cares? Who am I lol? Um, who am I lol? Um, who am I lol? I don't remember who this is. Who am I lol? 
Don't know who that is. That's the mom of Ichigo. <laughs> I don't know why she's in there. We haven't seen anything of it. Um, sleeper. We'll just do Flo Not Bad. Okay, Flo Not Bad. This guy. He's fighting Mel right now. Wait, did she beat him? No, she didn't beat him. Are they still fighting? I forgot, some of them are still trapped in Mega Mood. I think they're still fighting. I don't remember. He was fun though. I don't think he's- he's, he's not- he's- he's fun though. But he just like- he's just pretty suicidal. I think he just wants to die. Which is like kinda... kinda sad. Um, we'll do... Fun, not bad. No, actually we'll do main switch time, yes. I thought their fight was really interesting with Mel. This guy, he's kind of annoying, honestly. Yeah, he's annoying. I'm sorry, he's so annoying. But um Ah, sleeper. Wait, I think did I wanna make another tier for like the most annoying characters? I made another tier, I did! I'm so stupid. I made another tier. Alright, sorry. I, I ended up messing things up and I changed around. I don't- I, this is not the original color, but I don't remember what original color it was. But I, I forgot that I literally- I added another tier up below who am I going? I just remembered it just now. It's in black because, um... I don't care to see those characters in the show at all. They're annoying and they don't deserve to have a tier where you can clearly see letters. It's uh, blow my brains out annoying. That's the tier. Because there are characters specifically that need to go in this tier. And uh, I just literally just remember that. And because that character reminded me of uh, of this tier. I don't think this character go belongs in this tier. But this character reminded me of this tier. Which is going to go to one one person, one character that I find to be absolutely annoying and infuriating. Anyways, let's move on. This guy, who am I to love? Don't care. Oh, I love him. I love him. He's great. He's great. S tier. I think he's so fun. I love him and Ichigo's like little like relationship that they have on. And Ichigo tries so hard to avoid him because all he wants to do is fight him. I love that. Her? I like her a lot. Um. Um. We'll put her main story time, yes. I do like her a lot. I like how she's trying really hard to be helpful. And, um, um, can I go against what he's saying? But it seems like she's starting to, like, have a little bit of, like, personality to her. I wish you'd see more of her personality, but she is, like, was made. We have the lieutenant. She's fun. I think we go, she gotta go S tier. I think she's really fun, S tier. Oh, we have her. She is crazy strong and she is a battle bus a battle bus i like her main story time yes we have her which again i don't know like where i'm at right now like i don't know much about her so i don't really have a connection to her but i have seen some things about her and that she is psychotic <laughs> basically people really like her i just don't have any connection to her at the episode i'm at right now um, I'm not even at the point where I think the animation changes, uh, I think the animation changes, I'm, I think, later towards the end, I'm not even there yet. I kind of stopped watching Bleach because I'm watching a K-Jama right now. I want to finish my K-Jama first before I go back to Bleach, um, because I don't want to be degenerate and just do nothing besides binge watch all day, so I had to halt myself. But, I've heard a lot of good things about her, honestly, but I, I know she's psycho, but I, again, I haven't gone to that part yet, so we're gonna do a main story time, yes. This guy... Um... Isn't he the old lieutenant of, like, Rukia's squad? Is that the same person? It seems like Rukia had a little crush on him. I don't know if that's the same guy or not. I don't know, he, he's, he's dead. He seemed like a nice guy. And he tricked me in the Eisenhower. I thought he was actually back. I thought, I thought that was like, well, that's wild. Um, we'll do... Fair not bad. I feel like it's, eh, whatever. She is a pervert. Um, sleeper. 
uh, Aizen, um, listen. Listen, at the place I'm at right now, I don't think Aizen is really all that. People, I, he, he, Aizen is like the villain that people think is the best villain ever created, ever made. Um, have you seen the Phantom Troop? I'm just gonna say that right now. I haven't seen it. I haven't finished. Bleach. So far, Aizen is kind of just like, whatever. I don't know. I haven't really seen, the, we, I've barely seen anything of Aizen. Um, he's very attractive though. He's, he's, he's very attractive, though. Mm -hmm. ah, bloop. Anyways, uh, um, he's a lieutenant of the captain of the first captain, but I haven't again. I haven't really seen much of him. Like I don't really care who Megalol. These are all lieutenants. I don't care about who Megalol. Oh, Orihime, Orihime. Oh god, I have a lot to say about Onohime. I find her to be so useless. Sorry. Sorry, Sims. I've I just I find her to be now, like where I'm at now, I think she is just so useless. <laughs> like I like I don't understand why she's there. She doesn't want to fight. She doesn't like hurting people, that's fine. Um, uh, but she why is she there then? Like I don't understand why she wants to like always come and be a part of it when she like doesn't want to fight like she i her her powers like her um her reject powers are like impressive obviously they're really cool but like it'd be cooler if she'd use them to fight and do stuff with and so because of that uh, uh, you know i don't find her i think she's annoying i'm not she's not blowing my brain to annoying um, that's not the character that's going in here, but I don't know. I, I just like, listen, I want to see more of Orihime. She's like kind of being the damsel in distress character and I don't like damsel in distress characters. Like I want her to be a badass character, but right now she's just kind of like, kind of been, kind of like that, just kind of just there. She's kind of just there, to be honest. I don't know who this person is, who I'm like, lol. That's the captain. I know it's a captain, but I, I don't really care about this guy. Who am I going to Who am I going to This is the lieutenant again. I don't care either. Who am I going to Well, uh, I don't know. I feel like not bad. Who am I going to I just don't care. Like, I just, I don't care. Who am I going Who am I going to Who am I going to uh, Who? Oh, wait. No, no, no. I do know this guy. That's the wall guy. Eh. I mean, feeling not bad. Oh, these are the, well, at least these two are the sisters that's fighting this big booby girl. Eh. Do I care? Eh. eh. Actually, the big monster that they summoned was actually pretty interesting. That the captain had to come and save them from. He was like, I'm so disappointed in you that I had to literally move to save you guys. I'm just like, well, I'm not surprised. The problem with the Soul Society is that they have a huge ego. Like each team has a huge ego. And that they and they absolutely refuse to work together, which is like their absolute downside. And that's why they keep getting invaded. Is because they like they can't get their pride out of their butts. Ooh. Yes. When I made this chair, I had this guy in mind. He's just, oof. Nice, spicy. I love her. Um, her like love for Yonorichi is like really cute. <laughs> she's just like kind of like her little follower. It's very interesting though how she likes, she kind of, I feel like she kind of flipped her switch so easily though. Like when Yonorichi beat her, she's suddenly just like, okay, we're Gucci. But it kind of seemed like she was like, she never stopped like following Yodorichi. She, she never stopped being devoted to her. She's just really upset that she left her behind, which is understandable. Real main story time, yes. Another spot that I don't care about. This is the friend sleeper. I don't really care about the friends. Yeah. 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 When I had, when he's, I. Long hair. I'm a sucker for long hair. 
the especially if it's white. I love white hair and I love long hair. I'm a sucker for long hair. And they both have long hair. And they're both attractive. Just oof. So good. Um, crazy sister. Uh, uh she's not bad. She is interesting. But I don't really care. Another crazy sister. <laughs> um they were not bad, I guess. Lieutenant. And sleeper. I don't know. I don't really care. But Arichi is S tier. I love you, Arichi. Who am Megalol? I know who they are, but I don't really care. Lieutenant. Another lieutenant. I, we haven't seen much of her. I, I actually literally haven't seen her at all. I, I, I don't even know if she's even in the Eisen fight. I literally haven't seen her at all. I haven't seen her since the beginning of the story. So... Uh, I'm gonna put sleeper because she kind of just left. Momo? Momo. Momo is brainwashed beyond belief. It's actually really interesting though. I actually am very in interested with her, um, with that whole entire story, actually. And it's gonna be very interesting when she like sees Aizen because she still calls him captain and she says that, you know, that, that um, She's fine, but it's clear that she's not. The brainwashing went deep. Went deep. But I'm into her time, yes. That's gonna be really interesting. Of course. L Listen, no question at all. Okay, I have to scroll up. No question at all. Ichigo. Ichigo. I love him. He's great. I know it's just gonna get even stronger and I'm so excited. Also, the, the trailer for the, uh, the new Bleach that's coming out for the Thousand Year Blood War, the last arc. Oh my gosh, he looked so good in that. He looked so good. Catch my reaction to that. For my 100 subscribers special, which I'm so happy for. Thank you guys so much. Oh, this guy. This guy I haven't really seen a lot of. They just started fighting again. Um, but we got cucked again with another fellow arc. But I'm actually really interested in this guy. He seems really like an interesting villain character. Um, I know we see a lot of him in the movie. There's a movie that's the... I think it's called like Hell's... Something? Something? I think it's a movie, it's a really popular Bleach movie, like one of the most popular Bleach movies out there that people, it's sort of like very highly rated and I'm really intrigued um, to watch the movie. I am going to watch the movie, all the Bleach movies, after then watching Bleach, I'm going to watch that movie, so I'm going to put him S tier actually, I'm going to put him S tier. He seems like a really powerful villain, also really fun. Probably more interesting than Aizen, no offense, not more interesting. Who a Megalol, this guy. I haven't seen much of this guy, but he seems honestly like I really like his like lazy, laid back attitude. Um, uh, he seems like a fun character. Again, I haven't seen much of him. I believe the main story time, yes. Um, I was gonna put him in this category, but I'm just like, calm down, girl. Calm down. Who am I, Galal? Um, I do know all these, they're all Spada. Not Spada, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I don't I don't know who they are, but uh they're not bad. They're not bad. They're not bad. Um again I didn't watch the filler where their backstory was from. So uh, haven't seen her since the training arc with Ichigo, so I'm gonna just feel not bad, feel not bad. Uh, this guy is so heartless <laughs> and cruel, but it makes his character so interesting. I I do like his character a lot, actually. S tier, and this and the fight, his fight with Udu Udu whatever was really fun. But his fight, his fight with this guy was psychotic. It was crazy. It was so 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 good. I actually really enjoyed that fight. I don't know who this is. Ooh, I miss him. He was a fun, cute character. Um, oops. We do fun, not bad. This is a friend. Um, who the bald guy and the other guy stay with. 
Mm. Still not bad. This guy, I, I don't know who that is. Who am I to love? <gasps> I love him. Bakuya. Of course, I have to put him in there. I have to put him in there. I love Bakuya. Like, I'm a sucker for long hair. Sucker for long hair. Of course, she is S tier. <laughs> she's S tier. I love Rukia. I love her. Like, literally, it's like, she's the reason why Ichigo is, even became um, a soul reaper in the first place, which is awesome. Like, she started that whole entire journey, and I love her for that. She's great. Hat and clogs. Bruh. Bruh. Obviously. I love hand clogs. I I wish I wish I, I do want like a um I know we had like a little bit of backstory in the arc that I skipped over, but I would love to see more of honestly, I'd love to see more about hand clogs and his like history and backstory because he seemed just like an interesting, mysterious character. We have the guy who looks like a rooster. He has he has got rooster eyebrows for some odd reason. Looks so much better without them. I don't know why he he did that to himself, but main sort of time, yes, he's a cool character. And his like his you know his uh, secret power that he chooses to hide for whatever reason is, is dope. The little redhead guy, he is an annoying character, but he's just like a he's a, he's a sweet character. Like you can tell, like he he's annoying, like not like super annoying, but annoying in the sense of like a like a little brother annoying, like. He really cares for like all of them. And he's really cute. So main story time, yes. Don't take that in a weird way. Like cute as in like little okay, cute. Okay. Oh, we have her sister. I oh, was sorry, his sister, Ichigo's sister. Who is just like basically like also at his mo his mother. He just she basically acts as like everybody's like mother of their household to keep things together. Very, very very, very impressive for like a young child. And very sad too that like, like her role is basically kind of like a mother at like kind of the age that she's at. But um, what our main story time? Yes. This guy, I don't know who that is. Who am I galol? Okay, these are characters I haven't met yet. I don't know who that is. Who am I galol? Who am I galol? Now this is. Ooh, whatever his father, I know it's his father, but again, I haven't seen much of him. Like I, we saw like a couple of scenes, and that's it. So I'm gonna put him in sleeper because I, again, I haven't seen much of him. I don't know who this is. All characters I don't know. I haven't met any of these characters yet. Who am I gonna love? 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 Um, although those are the two lieutenants, the lieutenants, they're really cute. I like how they treat him. Like really treat him as like is a super protective of him. It's really super adorable and really cute. Um, we'll put them in filler not bad. We have this guy who is annoying, but he is also a really fun character. Um, we'll put him in. Eh, filler not bad. I haven't seen much of him. We have the captain, who is really weird. His whole peace thing. Is a lot of nonsense and makes no sense to me. Like I don't understand. I really want to know why he thinks the route that he's taking with Aizen is going to lead to peace. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but I'll put more main story time. Yes, because I'm actually interested in like why he thinks going the route is is the way to go. I don't know who this is. 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 Oh, the bird was so sad. This was so. I cried during this episode. This was so sad. This was absolutely sad. The bird was super cute, so they're not bad. I put them there. This guy. Don't know. But I don't know why that's there. I don't know who that is. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is the the brother of um, what a he may, but I don't really know much of this character. So sleeper. I don't know who this is. Oh, these three. I love these three. I love them. They're going in. S tier. They're going in S tier. I love them. I think they're absolutely adorable. And they try like they're very like loyal and they're trying like really hard to do their best and I don't know. They're just so cute. I love them. I think they're really cute. I don't know who this is. That is a friend of a Hime. You can also see Hollow. 
her their her whole thing with Ichigo, they totally oh wait, never mind. They they, they didn't. I forgot. I forgot. I'm gonna fill it right now. The whole thing with Ichigo, that huge fly before he went to Wikamunja to save Kurihime was like really just like sad to see. He totally put brushed her off. I understand why, but like it just made me really hurt for her because she was kinda of felt like and I felt like, you know, like a friend group, like you're kind of like outside the friend group and everybody's kind of like, you're standing outside the friend group and you don't know anything that's going on. You feel like an outsider, feel like you're not wanted. Maybe really sad to see, also pretty relatable. So I'll put her in main story time. Yes. Um, This guy, he runs the shop. I like him. He's fun. Main story time, yes. This is a friend. I don't care. I don't know who that is. I love him. I love him more now that I've seen the trailer for Bleach. He looks dope as hell. Uh, main story time. Oh, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier. S -tier. Okay, he'll go on S tier. Um, I don't know who this is. Lieutenant. I do know who this is. He he doesn't give himself enough credit, honestly. I think he's done I think he's doing a really good job. He does not give himself enough credit. We're putting him in main story time, yes. I like him a lot. He's he's actually a really good guy. He should stop blaming himself, honestly. We have her, Big Booby Girl. I love Big Booby Girl. S tier. She's a fun character. She's fun. She can get fun, she can get serious. I also really like their relationship too. I think they have a really good like partnership relationship. It's like Especially they can be like all serious, but then like they have each other's back when it's like down to it. And they clearly like, they clearly really like actually care about each other and what happens to each other. Um, you know, I don't know. It's really cute to see. I like their relationship. It's really cute. Who, oh, who cares? I do know who this guy is, but who am I going <sighs> Yeah, that's it guys. Nobody left. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look, we, we finished guys. What do you guys think of my selection? I'm sure you guys probably have a lot of thoughts to say. Okay, I'm kidding, okay? Oh, all right, listen, I hate these characters though. They're so annoying. Like, unbelievably annoying. Annoying. This guy is like not as annoying as this guy, but like I literally skipped the episodes that like, was used in. I skipped them. They're so annoying. Cone, annoying. Beyond belief. I don't understand. I know he's like a comedic relief character, but I just find his presence so annoying. He's just a pervert. I don't understand. Like, what is what is comedic about his pervert his pervertness? Like, what? Like, this is, this is not Dead Seven Deadly Sins. I don't understand. Like, it's just annoying. Like, I don't I, I don't get it. He does nothing. He does nothing. I don't know what he offers. Again, I still have hundred episodes left to go. He could offer more, but as of right now, he offers nothing. Nothing of substance. Annoying character. Honestly, I I just I hate when he's on screen. Absolutely hate him. He might I mean I might he might be a fan favorite, who knows? I just find him annoying. I just don't understand the point of his character. Anyways, okay, that is gonna be it for my tier list. This was a long video. But, uh, but we, we, I mean, there's a lot of characters, a lot of characters I went through. Um, what do you guys think of my tier list? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in a very civil manner, please. I will delete your comment if it's not in a civil manner. Um, what do you think of my selection? Again, this is just for fun. This is, for, this is just for fun. This is for fun. I'm just having fun. Um, not that serious. It's not that deep. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah. Would you guys agree, disagree? Um, I'm still not done yet, so should I revisit this if I'm done? Probably not. <laughs> but um, if you guys like how I tiered everything, I'm gonna think of my top selection. That is totally not biased, and I didn't, totally didn't come up with this tier list ahead of time, nor did I look through these characters ahead of time. Totally didn't do that. Totally didn't do that. Totally not biased. All based on looks, and not abilities at all. Definitely not. Um, and not. I wouldn't do that. Not ever. Okay. Um. So let me know you guys thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all the, the recent support. I really appreciate it. 
Um, like and subscribe if you enjoy. Turn on post notifications to get notified when I upload a new video. Follow me on all my social links, search down below to get notified whenever I never upload a new video. And that's me for today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye.